Our design journey began with this stunning image of this elegant lady. She's draped in gossamer cloth, which was embellished with fine gold zardozi thread. She's gazing very comfortably at a bird perched on her hand. My dear friend who sent this beautiful image writes, Dear Hema, I saw this visual and I thought of you and Amba and your color palette. I learned that this elegant lady belongs to Chitrashala, one of Bundi Palace's finest apartments built by Rajput Rao Umed Singh in the mid 18th century. Rudyard Kipling was said to have arrived there during that time while the Bundi painters were all at work on these wonderful murals. So I love the way he describes it. He describes it as this jumbled city with straight streets, large, large, wide gardens, and higgledy-piggledy long apartments attached to one another that drop down from the sky like man-made peaks. Bundi sits atop the scraggly hill, nestling on the edge of Jait Sagar Lake, surrounded by azure blue skies. Over the next two or three days, we explore the palace. Pia takes extensive photographs, and I take the time to start creating my mood book. I sit in two of my favorite palaces, the Chitra Mahal and the Badal Mahal, and I create my color palettes. Amba's Krishna Leela collection has truly been inspired particularly by Chitrashala in its wonderful varied hues of blues and greens, the famous triptych of the Krishna Leela paintings which reside in Rajput Rao who made Singh's personal chambers, as well as the numerous depictions of all the elegant ladies. Pia takes detailed shots of all of the ladies of leisure in Chitrashala. The women are just unbelievable in their finery. They're draped in this transparent cloth, which have fine little details painted on by the wonderful artists of the Bundi school. There are women who have armory adorned to their costumes, and other women are gazing at birds, birds perched on their hands, birds on the ground beside them, also in just beautiful costumes. These finely detailed painted portraits inform us that this is a more progressive time for women. Many of the Krishna stories are set against a rich, plush backdrop of banana trees. And we were really interested in trying to encapsulate the banana leaf and create a woven structure that could represent it. And it turned out to be one of our signature stoles. Our sham stole is a labor of love. The denti pattern is a woven structure that captures the magic of the triptych in the Chitra Shala. The Ras Mandala, which is the circular dance, raising of Mount Govardhan and Krishna stealing the gopis clothes. In Ras Mandala, which is our first panel, the representation of threads could be very balanced because Krishna appears beside each gopi. In our second panel, which is raising Mount Govardhan, Wasim imagined Mount Govardhan to be represented by a much thicker and stronger thread, and the support yarns around that to be finer silk threads to represent Krishna. We had a little more, um, a, a bit more of a struggle when we came to the third panel, which is Krishna stealing the gopi's clothes. So we decided we would have empty spaces in our denting to represent the missing clothing and filled yarns to represent Krishna. That provided to be a bit of a, a difficult because we had to find a way to balance the tension in the yarns. As I'm wearing our sham stole, we kind of finalized the piece by having a design detail run through the entire woven structure, which represent the steps of Bundi Palace. Our weaving workshop is located in the ancient town of Maheshwar, which is nestled on the banks of the sacred Narmada River. 
It is said that the weavers shifted from Mandu to Maheshwar during Ahilya Bai Holkar's reign. As Ahilya Bai Holkar was widowed, the traditional Maheshwari translucent cotton silk sari had very, very simple geometric borders. They took a lot of their design elements from the surrounding architecture in Ahilya Bai's fort, in her temple complex, and from the ripples in the Narmada River. When we're done with our collection, we decide to shoot it in the Ahilya Fort temple complex, using that as our backdrop. There are a cornucopia of inspirations to be found in Wundi Palace. It is truly a hidden gem of Rajasthan. We're reluctant to leave Bundi as our senses have been heightened by its resplendence. I bid farewell to my enchantress. I don't know when I'll see her again.